can fetch this if you want. A smart purchase. That's all you need? Is Hafton about? Eivor, welcome! Hafton has stepped outside with Baravid. They shouldn't be far. Eivor himself! Stay your balls! And ask her to shake asses with you! Look, look, I've never... Dance with anyone before? Show me. Rishi, I struggle to be surprised. Caught off guard, but I should not have been. Fog set in and I could not see. The ceremony hastens to start. Let's not keep the crowd waiting. Eivor! Yes, let us go. To inscribe our names in history. No more pulling strings. This throne and its burdens are mine. Have you had enough fun? My crowning must come soon! I'll save some for later. Let's make a king of you. To Eivor and the Raven Clan of Mercia, our newest ally in blood and glory! To Hafton King, I lift my horn and raise my brow to speak this praise. Crown Spire, Stout Oak of Valkyries, Spinner of Battle Wisdom, long may you live and rule. Skull! Skull! <coughs> Moira, what is this metal? It's soft, like Roman pipes. Ah, oh, that's lead. A toxic metal. And was it lead that drove the Romans mad? Can metal do this to a man? Oh, God in heaven, yes. The Romans knew this well. And my poor mother, she... She drank from cups like these for so long. She... You... All these years you gifted me poison! <laughs> you gifted me madness! Old friend, please. Your sickness has clouded your judgment. 
This sickness was no accident. I trusted you. Cheese your weapon, Farid. Eivor, make this man see sense. He's old, sick, and his mind is unclear. Oh, shit! You want me dead, you lying shit hog? I was a fool to not see it! Treason must never go unpunished. After all we did together? After all we won? If any of my clan committed such a betrayal, I would rip his flesh from his bones. You are not the warrior you used to be, old friend. Treasonous bastard! Stand and fight me! Old friend, do you remember the days we raced our horses across the length of this land? You were always faster. You always won. Because I let you win, my army. So I will let you win one last time. We will meet once more in the Corpse Hall. It's time I go. Hmm? I'm leaving for Mercia, going home. And go with this. A sign of friendship. A bond between our clans, a symbol of the pain and suffering it took to win the peace. I hope we were right about him. It seems the wind calls me back to Ranji. Let's tell her the good news.
What have you... That be all? Farewell, Eivor. Uh, hey, Eivor. What do you have? Have a good day. Have you got a cup? I have request. One man's death can be done. I'd like to see what you have. You know, you are my dad. I have to go. I hope to see you soon. My love. I entered Jovic Shire to meet Halfton Jarl, and I left a friend of Halfton the King. Good. I want to see the Alliance map. What transpires in Glauert? You may have noticed that Gunnar has disappeared from his forge. A wife? He is... When did this happen? When doesn't this happen with our dear, lovelorn blacksmith? But there is a bright side. He has asked you to join him. Join his search for a wife? And see that he does not make a fool of himself. I believe he thinks that your presence would bolster his image. Very generous of you.
Need your eyes, my friend. Got a story? Ooh, not of the ugly was an excellent sailor who could pilot a longship entirely on his own. This is why King Sigvaldi kept him around. In all other matters, Unar was a cruel, anxious, and humorless man. He was one of the most unlikable people I have ever known. One year, I recall we had invited some carls from the Ingling clan to dine with us. As we were serving... had run out just before reaching Unar's home. A word storm, and he accused Sigvaldi of treachery. Ah, where were you? It so happened that the ale had run out just before reaching Unar's home. This raised in him a word storm, and he accused Sigvaldi of treachery. Every man in the longhouse jeered at Unar for raising such a fuss. This made Unar angrier than before, and he stormed out. A short time later, we heard him yelling through the door of the hall. I set this scorn pole upon the men of England! It's Unar! We looked outside and saw that Unar yes, severed one of the heads of the England's horses stuck it upon a hazel branch. Sail out! And he saw us gathering at the door. The Ingling Carls among us. Unar panicked and ran. He was not seen for many months. Epic tale. I know a crazed man about my age called Roku. We are taken to calling Roku the Rock. His habit of collecting axes. For 20 years he collected axes of all make and size. He had never seen a day of battle, but he swore to Thor that he would. In his 31st year, after drinking too much ale, Roku seduced another man's wife. That man called a home gun against Roku. Roku accepted the home gun. And on the agreed upon day, he laid out twelve of his axes and asked, Which of these will I use to slay you? Will it be Bone Splitter? He said. My bearded blade inscribed with Sather runes, affixed to a handle of English oak? Or Blood Fountain? He continued. My Danax, which swings through the air on two hands with the speed of an arrow's flight? Or Mighty Feet Twin Wolf Wounder? Broker growled. Growing even more bold. Fierce pair of throwing axes. At the the man who had challenged Roker brought a large stone down upon his head. Roker died instantly.
Let the sail yeah, out. Yeah. of the feud between Kiofbe, the crew, and the Raven clan, there was a mad berserker called Kiar Robo. Kiar had pledged this battle fury to no king or yard, and would give his oath only once each winter, for reasons nobody could fathom. One year, Kiar's sister, Tulra, was married to Kiofbe's brother, Alwin. And soon, Kiar was often seen in the company of that clan. But soon after, word came to Kiar that Alrek had abused his sister, when he asked Tora about this, she told him, It is true. So Kiar invited Alrek on a hunting expedition. When they were away, Kiar slew Alrek and pulled off one of his arms. When he returned to camp, Kyotve asked where his brother was. Kiar shook his head and held out his hand, in which was an armory. Your brother bid me give you this ring. Confused, Kyotve took the ring Your brother pledged his oath to hell herself, Kiar laughed, and he turned and departed. He was never seen in those parts again. <laughs> about this land, my friend. Do you see? I smelt you on the wind. Gunnar, with the speed you left home, I thought you've been carried off by Valkyries. I have. This Valkyrie right here, Bridget, my own heart's root. Meet Aver. It takes a rare woman to nail down our Gunnar. Lavendine da, but my Zigwili. Uh, good to meet you as well. How ch she offer me a tr Have you- Have Mama died. Briggs of man power, the last high priestess and elder man. They since passed on. But I should like to meet this elder man of- A union forged in love. Come, we go find him. Tim Jolch. Right, no date. 
So the elder man may have heard a tale or two about my exploits. Not all from me. Your name will be on the lips of every skull for years to come. Hmm. And the Mercians here are not unsettled by lurking Viking yet? They come from all over to celebrate Samhain. Most are too busy with the festivities to pay us mine. Samhain? Is that what these carved roots are for? This tradition? Aye. Faces cut into lanterns to ward off evil spirits and guide children home. They have a haunted look about them. Let us bring a few back. There is the elder man, Kunan. A good leader, seeing to his people's needs. Let us join hands when his task is done. Yeah, then let's introduce you to Tevdur. Hands as clammy as a dead haddock, but his heart is in the right place. And he'll be elderman after Kuna. Tevdur, this is Eivor, my chieftain. Ah, yes. The way Gunnar speaks, I expected, uh... Me to ride in on a winged horse, cure the sick, the blind. His compliments are as blunt as his hammer. Ah, more pagans crowding our table. Just lovely. Well, what brings you in? I am here to hasten my friend's marriage, and drink my weight in ale. If friendship comes afterwards, then all the better. And what has Dane friendship done for Christian Mercia? Unseated god So-called puppet kings, keep your land. Apples! Eivor, wait until you try the cider. You, you like cider, eh? Tevder? Cider? <sighs> Ah, you must be Eivor. Tevder... At your behest. We welcome all pagans set upon God's own clout. Tevder, as your harvest king, I demand that you remove the turnip from your arse and be merry. So you've come to meet the family before you whisk my Bridget away to her life as a smithy's bride. We're honored to have her join the Raven Clan. But your lush land... I must give away girl and land in this misty season, but Gunnar is a good man, and he speaks tirelessly of you. If you will... Ah, yes, the shrine. And with so many thieves and fine... Kunon, I do not need a heathen escort. Youth cut down in its prime, without even the memory of warm thighs and cider to sustain him in the afterlife. Then... By my honor, I shall not rest until I return him to you safely. Aye, Tefter? I see I am outmatched. My lady love calls, Eivor. Oh, if you'd like to join us later, we're going hoodening this... Go! May you have a fire-forged friendship. I have a hand fastening to oversee, an apprenticeship to officiate, and a pig to slaughter. <clears throat> well, shall we then? Salad. Kunon humors these pagans too much. It is the first thing gone when I am elderly. Fires and magic. Spirits in the air. Gloucestershire has strayed from God's light. People need carousing, especially before the winter frost. A festival brings warmth and cheer. God's light does not dim as the nights chill. But the winters are hard upon the children. Seeing them run around, it lightens the heart. Are there priests in your lands? I've met a few, liked even fewer. The profane has gone unchallenged here. I alone am the reformation. They are a flock in need of my shepherding. And how will you lead this great renewal? They will fill the church's pews and we will thank him for all the gifts he brings. Not false idols of wood and clay. And yet, are we not going to pray at the idol of another? Is this Saint Canom your god? No, and we do not call him such. He is simply closer to the Lord's ear. Low in a mead of pine under a thorn, lieth poor Kenhelm, kingborn. 
Is this land not beautiful, Eivor? I... Look, the path is untouched by danger. So your company is not needed. You are a kinder man than the mask you wear. But you won't be rid of me. I will keep my word to Kunin for your safe return. I don't understand this Christian praying. I thank Odin while standing. Why get your knees dirty? To humble ourselves before God. Besides, I've dirtied my knees doing worse. That sounds like a tale I'd like to lend my ear to. Please. Should I watch or turn my back? Oh Lord, gift upon this lowly servant, your greatest gift. Patience. I will not have to interrupt your prayer to protect you, Tefta. And yet you insist on doing so. What is it you are looking at? A hair? Tefter, get to safety! Find somewhere to hide! Where did they come from? Eivor, thank you for saving my life. It's good I was here to protect you. Splude, cloven hoofed and sent by Lucifer himself. This land must be returned to God's grace. More likely the shrines in their territory. Lord, we thank thee for your protection. It's not safe here. Give me my moment's prayer, Eivor. I ask only this. We should return to Gloucester. Unless you'd like to thank the little martyr here for tonight's feast. I'm not a babe in the woods in need of constant guard. Go on without me. I gave Kunan... Yes, yes, your word. And when I see him, I will say you protected me from being skewered upon those devil's tusks. Oh, and Eivor, I owe you a drink at least. Later, if you'd have one. Find me at the festivities. Escorted Tefter to the shrine of some Christian saint. Our past was not peaceful. We were casted by a group of boars. But you saved his hide. I bet it was quite the sight. Two of you at. I kept my word. Restraint, Eivor? I've bridged hands with most of England, Gunnar. And I've held my temper. I need a drink. Try the cider. Skull. Skull. So, you invited me to a hoodening. What mission? Nigwiskalan Vela Sprogjan and Glowashester gives their glut to Otherworld if freely given? Huh. I've only seen such a thing done at feasts. Then we turn you into a beastie and have you roam the hills, praying for sweets and drink. It's hardly a dis none. Become the Mary Lude, the spirit who sings for cake and ale. And you cannot have your cloak back until we leave. I'll keep this covering, but even a knife to my throat cannot make me sing on command. Shay, I heard you. 
Gunner, if no one else is dressed this way, I will fill your shop with sheep. Bad house. Are you ready to rhyme with me? Down the road, from my abode, there is an open vale. I've been here knocking and the walking. Now give me cake and ale. Brilliant, that is! Are you playing the role of Trickster Spirit? Can Trickster Spirit see? The eye holes in this mask are terrible. All it takes is a mask and some sweet cakes to turn you... Good! Oh, thank the gods. We've been waiting for children all night. Ah, lads getting into their cups, scaring the wee ones. I have come to rhyme with you. In the gloaming, see her roaming hidden neath the hood. Never knowing who is knocking, wanting something good. Oh, very nice. <laughs> Look at these cakes. Sweet as honey, Gunnar. You should see this. Gunnar. My cakes. Aid me. Be my eyes. Gunna! Oh, I said desert. to off the ears. Take your force, good. You are a fitting name for scavengers. I'll pick out your eyes and Gunna, we are <laughs> You seem to want your nose broken, so let me oblige. Christ and tall. It's you lot we should be burning alive! Are you sure you don't want to stay in Gloucester? They know how to have fun. I don't answer to you, witch. Thomas Fletcher, I brought you into this world, wiped your mother's birth blood from your face. Mind your tongue. Let's see that leg, then. It's nothing. Careful with the old man. He's had many winters worth of wounds. Tilukis, Modron's a compass to patch this land. Your aid is welcome. Men drown themselves in ale on Saturday. With Dean of Four. That man called you a witch. I lead those who follow the old ways in Gloucestershire. But I offer my healing services on both. Gwenny, my love, go back to the house and bring me the garlic salve. And the worms? Are we cleaning or cut? Yes, grab the worms just to be safe. Now go, child. I give me strength. But my modern is... I'm glad you all finding my mortal injury so funny. Go, Aver. Make modern. That limb will be fine, but no medicine in from his mouth. I do not work miracles.
so in the carne. Eivor, there you are. Zafter. You're well met. Guilim here has challenged my honor in a contest of drinks. Join us. Give me a some ale then. One for me as well. For shave not every tongue to holy hearth. Chester is at stake. I will not leave these lands to one who laughs at ale like a cat. That's foul. Come, lad. The leader of Glowachester should hold more meat than that. In arms, drink a hogshead of ale faster! Drink, man! Drink! Come on, lad, show the dame your metal! Of all the Eldermen, none. It is well known. Death? I am to be sacrificed in the horrible barbaric prank. A true f- Hmm. I lad. A toast, then. To El- My friends, you are kind to me. I'd like to talk. Weak. What is this? Water? I feel like Thor chugging oceans. <laughs> this will work faster than any. Good. Give me visions of all creatures that... Wow, that tastes so... Hey, Voss, speak true. My feelings be damned. I have been an ass. Do not deny it. A colossal horse's ass. Yes. Soft words from the heartless heathen. Only fiercer than fire among ill friends. I can be various. <laughs> and how nice it. There, I think. After. Oh yeah. <laughs> People are sleeping. More ale to seal our friendship. <laughs> this way, this way. Look out for the black sow. Sow. Like pig? Flaming pig. Chases you home at night. <coughs> silly words to scare silly children. <sighs> you seem magic as the stuff of children's dreams. Perhaps I judge too much. Truths I half believe. Foolishness sometimes takes my tongue. I have to piss. Uh, a great... Blackness chases stars across the sky in great whirls of color and light. Whoosh! Here we are. Right inside here. I feel warm. Do you feel warm? Always warm here. It's a wonder you don't walk around naked. Yes, um... Well... Come on in. Uh, 
Hell's breath. What happened last night? Uh, and if... Defter, are you here? There he is! What is the meaning of this? Blood soaking our soil, and your weapon coated in the same! Kunan, please. More has happened here than you can see. Give me a right to parley my innocence. I should have heeded Tevdor's misgivings about heathen party guests. And now he has paid with his life. With Tevdor gone, Glowichester will be without an elderman. Eye for an eye, your Raven clan will lose their chieftain. Get the murderer! Won't be gentle if they spot me. 